power is a hell of a drug. And I was trying to figure out, did Macbeth feel like it was owed to him? Did he deserve it? Was it took him from him? I was trying to figure out, like, how come it was so important for him to have that power? I think he had that desire all along. You know, it's like the question I asked myself, why do those witches show up that day? And why him? Why do they say this to him? Yeah, you're going to become king. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. But they don't say because of who you are. What did he <laughs> lust after? What You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, he's just Mr. Nice Guy and all these things <laughs> happened to him. He, he came to the table with more than just an appetite and a knife and a fork. You can see what he's thinking. Like, he's like, oh, no, this is not going to happen. I'm going to get rid of some people. You know, we're we going to handle this. <laughs> I know is I'm feeling just fine. My life is like the red carpet, and I'm feeling like the richest millionaire. This is my welcome here, and I'm the biggest star around here. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail? I'm glad you see. Listen to the clip, and this is how destiny, you know can go wrong or destiny can be corrupted or, or destiny can corrupt you. Um, Macbeth, if y'all don't know, if people don't know what Macbeth, myth, Macbeth is, it's a Shakespeare play. Um, basically, uh, a Scottish general, a general got, basically three witches came to him and told him he was going to be king. And because of that, Instead of like inheriting the throne, he basically took that as I'm going to be king. And he started wiping out everybody who was supposed to be king <laughs> till he was king. And then, you know, with him and his wife kind of, you know, um, being a duo of shenanigans, right? Backstabbing. And because of that, um, he, become, he became tyrannical. He become par he became paranoid, and and he was always, you know, looking over his shoulder because he was he, he became murderous to the point where he was looking over his shoulder because he was doing people in and then try killing other people to cover his tracks and then this that and the third, and it basically led to a demise, right? But I think about that in the sense of. You know, sometimes I, I've talked about God giving me a vision and God give, gives a lot of people visions. But some people, they're corrupted. Because if it doesn't come when they feel like it's supposed to come or it should come, then they might do something to force it to, to come to pass. And... And a lot of times that's not what was meant to happen in that way. But hey, you're there now. But sometimes be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. And then for a little curveball of this, if I look at America as a, a, a play or a movie, I would say white America's American story is Macbeth. They came here to the new land and manifest destiny. God gave them a vision that they could, you know, ha have a land of milk and honey. And then they became murderous, tyrannical, you know, murdered to cover their tracks, and paranoid. And the men and women have been, you know, digging themselves a deeper and deeper hole and trying to cover their tracks and being more tyrannical domestically and globally ever since. Knowing that there's going to be an a, a end. Um, and the reason I think about it that way is because a lot of times we don't even take into consideration that people want power, but People want power for what reason? You know, um, you wind up 
with, with a situation where you have a lot of insecure people who want power and you have insecure people who attain power and they do the most outlandish stuff with it you know and the issue is they saw themselves in a position or somebody told them they was going to be in a position and it was never in, in them or their heart or their soul to actually get in a position to do right. And using what Denzel said, um, three, the three witches, like why did they choose him? Interestingly enough, I think anybody who, who gets premonitions and visions uh, for a period of time believes that, you know, they they were chosen. God came to them. But God came to a lot of people. You just one of them. But since you don't seek past yourself, even if you're a good person or, or not so good of a person, you become entitled to that vision. And once you become entitled to that vision, it doesn't matter. Some people lack the morals to let it come to, to, to pass in a righteous manner. Some people look, it's going to happen by hook or crook. I'm going to get there by hook or crook. And it's like, wait, calm down. Please calm down because if you don't, you're going to take it somewhere you didn't really, really want it to go. And, and you know, I saw uh, a clip of um, Rick Ross. He said, you only get a chance to be king once. And using that the Macbeth thing, um, he only got one chance to be a king, and he didn't see himself as being a king, you know, in in, in hierarchy. Like, so he decided, hey, hey, shot, 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 you know, but. Heavy is the head who wears the crown, and sometimes, you know, heavy is the head of somebody who corrupts their destiny. Because you might wind up living in the destiny that you that, that you were given a vision of, but if you do it in a corrupted manner, you realize you probably wish you never did it. Now, some people say, I'd rather be a king for a day than, 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 than regular for life. And I would say you're stupid. I would say you're stupid. You know. But that's just my opinion. Um, but to me, at the end of the day, we have to actually take into consideration that When they say what's done in the dark will come to the light, sometimes that applies to your dreams. Sometimes that applies to your premonitions because they come in the dark and you have to, you know, live long enough to see them come to fruition in the light. But unfortunately, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to use a, a true story that happened a few years back. You don't want to be the guy that wins the lotto and decides he's going to throw a party and go on a binge of, you know, women, drugs, and alcohol, and OD. A few, you know, a month into being rich. Because, you know, it, you saw it coming, it happened, and now you were reckless with it, and now you're no more. You know, because you didn't get yourself right to enjoy the, the, the vision that you were given. But, hey, I'm going to leave it at that. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know I gave you everything I had.